What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the second part of the headlight disassembly, restore, reassemble, headlight project. You know, didn't want to make the title too long. So anyways, we're starting out with me, of course, being an idiot on two parts. First part being I started reviewing some of the footage and where I had the camera mounted the first time, the audio was terrible. I mean, it's it's bad enough that I'm using a little GoPro as is, but where I had it mounted, you just couldn't hear anything. The second part is I got halfway through the first part of the tutorial for masking and sanding the headlight when I realized this. So, I was masking off all the chrome and stuff like that, being real tedious, kind of giving some instructions. Well, on this headlight, there was no need. Why? Because the chrome separates. Now, I will tell you, it is not like this on every headlight. Most of the time, it's all chrome. Or if it's not, then the part that is chrome, you aren't able to remove like that. However, I'm going to get right back into the tutorial part of this video and start kind of, you know, telling you how to do things again. Not that I'm bossy or anything, but you're watching this, right? I do want to go over a couple of things on the masking real quick since it's not really that hard and the list of materials you need is rather short. Really, you just need some masking tape. I had two different sizes here, some 2 inch and some 1 inch I believe are the sizes. And a couple of different razor blades just to cut the masking tape. And you're just going to want to take your time, you know, go around everything that you don't want painted. You know, leave all the chrome exposed if that's what you're in intending to paint. But masking isn't hard. Keys are just taking your time and don't be afraid to use too much tape. Now, as far as the prepping of the actual chrome piece itself, again, the list of materials is rather short. Red Scotch Bright pad. That's all you need. And we're going for this kind of dull look. You're not really intending to sand the chrome off the piece. That's not the intention at all. You just need to scuff it, give it some scratches for the paint or primer to stick to. All right, as far as paint, I like to use this Rust-Oleum here. It's cheap, you can find it anywhere, and I've always had really good results with it. So we just have their gloss black and then their crystal clear enamel. So. We're going to be doing three coats, maybe four, on this piece here. The first one being a light. Well, actually, the first two coats are going to be light, but the first light coat is going to focus on some harder-to-reach areas and definitely around the perimeter. The second light coat will be a, really over the whole thing, and then we'll come back on the third coat pretty heavy. Not too heavy, but just a heavier than the first two. But you definitely want to focus the first light coat on some harder to get to areas because you want to make sure they have coverage it's just a lot easier to do it in the earlier phases of the paint than to wait to the last heavier coats because then you try to you end up getting runs trying to get those hard corners that didn't get enough coverage the first time so i didn't show it on camera but this piece has been wiped down with alcohol and given time to dry you definitely want to do that to remove all the dust from the previous sanding stage. It may not look like there's any on there, but there definitely is. So if you don't wipe it off, it's going to show up in your coats of paint. So we're going to give the cans a really good shake, and we're going to get started. Again, two light coats. First one, hard to reach areas. Second one, over the whole piece. And then a third coat, heavier over the whole piece. So we'll get you guys set up and go. Full disclosure, I did change the paper out, but I wanted to give you a little bit more contrast between the paper and the 
uh, headlight insert we painted here. So this has had a little bit of time to dry now, and as you can see, we got a really even high gloss coat with some cheap automotive paint. It's laid down really even. Lots of times when it first goes down, it looks really orange peely, but you just need to give it a few minutes to really lay down and dry. Now the key here again was prepping it with alcohol before we paint it because as you can see really no dust specks in this job. Now being a headlight insert they're probably you know it won't be exposed to the element so you don't have to do as good a job but you know why not always strive for perfection if you can. Alright guys that will conclude our video for today kind of short and sweet but really not a lot to go over as far as painting it's nothing you should be afraid of just a couple of key reminders prep is key make sure you scuff your part well enough definitely clean it with something that will evaporate alcohol is usually a safe choice before you paint it and then weather conditions really can play a part um, inside the shop wasn't really the best because the temperature was a little low, but it had been raining outside the past few days, which is even worse. So at least it was drying here. Try to keep the humidity or paint on a day where the humidity isn't too high and where it's not too hot and not too cold. There's a happy medium in there. Um, anywhere around 70 degrees is usually perfect. So if you have any more questions about how to paint the lenses or you want me to dive deeper into anything you saw in the video, please let me know below and I'll try to answer. And if you can, in the meantime, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe, share with your friends, and until next time, just wing it.